This video is going to be a little awkward to shoot because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, but I also want to show you what's going on on the screen over here. So we're going to try to do some screen to screen action here. Um, but what we're going to be looking at today is how to, uh, from the shell, so you can do it in a shell script or just from, from your shell, your command prompt, uh, record audio from multiple audio devices. I have multiple audio devices hooked up to machine. Some of them are disabled, uh, but currently active. I have my USB microphone here. I have this USB headset here, which also has a microphone. And then I have my analog just audio card in there, which obviously has uh, inputs and outputs. And um, so how can we record uh, from maybe these two microphones at the same time uh, to individual files so I can later on mix them together? And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So the first thing we need to do is, is look at our audio devices and also see what's available from those because uh, you have multiple options. Like instead of just recording from this microphone, we can record the output of the headphones too, which we'll look at in a second. Uh, but we're going to start off with uh, this command. Let's see. It's, I'm going to look at my notes here. So it's PACMD. So I'm using Pulse Audio. I should probably say that. So in this particular scenario, we're using Pulse Audio, which is fairly common on most Linux desktop systems uh, for audio. And uh, we can use this uh, PA for Pulse Audio, uh, CMD. So Pulse Audio command, we're going to say list source outputs. And we're going to hit enter. And it gives us a bunch of information about all our audio cards. Uh, but that's a little overkill. What we want to do is we want to narrow that down. So we're going to grep. And we're going to look for just lines that say source and a colon. And that is case sensitive there. So oops, let's see. So that narrows it down a little bit more. Now you'll notice, uh, you know, even though I say I have three devices set up currently, you're see we're seeing five, zero through four here, um, devices listed. And you'll notice uh, certain things like these first two uh, have almost identical names. This one's a USB-C Media Electronics Incorporated, but one says output and one says input. Both of those are this USB headphone set, uh, but one is the microphone. The one that's labeled input is the microphone, where again, the output is the output going to this audio. So if I'm playing music or a video or something, some audio out to this headset, I can say record whatever audio is going to this headset. So that's one way to record audio from the output of uh, different programs. Although that's every program that's being played to this headset. Uh, in future videos, we might go over recording individually from certain applications. So you might have three applications making audio, but you're only recording from one. Uh, but that's the difference between those two is the input is the microphone, the output is what's going to this device. Uh, so let's just start off with microphones. So we're going to add to that same command. We're going to pipe in and we're going to, uh, let's say, we'll sort, unique, and then we'll grep for um, input. And, oops, sorry, grep for input. And there you go, we get three devices. So we have uh, number one there is my USB headphones. Uh, the second one is the analog audio card in my computer. Uh, actually, it's the, on the motherboard. And then my other USB microphone here. So if we wanted to record from one of those, uh, we can choose to uh, using FFmpeg. So I'm going to say FFmpeg. And right now I should be in an empty directory. So FFmpeg. And I'm going to say dash F pulse, meaning that we're using Pulse Audio's audio uh, interface uh, because Pulse Audio actually runs on top of other audio uh, processes. But right now we're focusing on, on Pulse Audio. And I'm going to say dash I for the input that we want. And that would be this number, so whatever source it is. So let's say we want to record from my headphones here. That's a number one here. So let's go ahead and say one. And then we want to map that. Uh, think of the mapping as like a track if you were using a multi-track recorder. Uh, so we're going to say map zero. And then what file we want to output to, I'll just say 0.mp3 in this case, but you can use whatever file format FFmpeg saves to. And when I hit enter, it's going to start recording. And as you can see, I go, hello, 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 tap, tap, tap. And then I'll hit control C to finish that. Actually, Q might be a better option than control C for that, but it's not a big deal either way. And I'll just use MPV, I'll say MPV uh, dot m, uh, zero dot MP3, and I can play that file. I hit enter, it's going to start recording. As you can see, I go, hello, hello, hello. So that was that microphone. And now if I wanted to record, let me go ahead and delete that file, MP3. And uh, I'm going to run that same command, but now I can give it another input. So I'm going to say dash F again for pulse. 
uh, because I'm still using, I mean, you can record from multiple different um, audio device, uh, uh, processes if you want, I guess. But again, we're saying pulse, I'm going to say dash I, and um, I, let me list out my inputs again. So running this command again, so again, dash F, pulse, uh, dash I for input, and this time we'll do my other USB microphone, we'll say 4 for input 4, and we'll say dash map 1, so that'll be our, our next track there, and we're going to say 1.mp3. And now when I hit enter, it's recording from both these devices, so I can go test, 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 1, 2, 3, test, 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 1, 2, 3, and if I hit Q this time, uh, I now should be able to list out and see that I have two files there. And if I can quickly use uh, Audacity, I can say audacity.mp3, uh, 0.mp3, and then I will say discard that last project, yes. And then I'll say uh, import audio, and I'll choose the other audio file, and you can see I have this top track is from my headphones, and the bottom track here is uh, from the other microphone. And if I play them together, and when I hit enter, it's recording from both these devices. So I can go test, 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 one, two, three, test, 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 one, two, three. And you can see the difference in the audio files uh, in this top one. Uh, when I was closer to that microphone, it's louder, and when I was closer to the other microphone, it was louder. Uh, now, do keep in mind uh, that uh, although this seems synced up, uh, if you're using different devices, I mean, these are two different devices from different companies, they might record at different sample rates. Uh, they, they, you might get out of sync after a while. Um, so play around with, see what happens with your devices. But I mean, if you're trying to record a whole song and you got a whole band and you're using different types of input, it, it might not sync up. Uh, just a warning to you there, um, unless you have equipment that's meant to work together or, or is similar enough. Um, so there's the example of that. I've got the two microphones there. Uh, I don't have a microphone hooked up to the input on uh, my uh, onboard audio. But let's go ahead and um, show you, let me see, um, I'm trying to think of another example. And again, you can continue uh, adding more and more de devices. Uh, but if I was to, again, list out all my inputs, and then I can also list out my outputs here. Oh. Output, if I spell it properly. There we go. So again, <clears throat> I can play audio out to my headphones or out to my speakers through my internal uh, sound device, and I can record the audio going from there. So if you wanted to record the audio going out from the device. Usually there's better ways to do that. Like if you're trying to rip audio from like a YouTube video, you're better off using YouTube DL to download the audio, download the file and pull out the audio and then convert it to whatever format you want rather than doing it this way. Uh, but if for some reason uh, you needed to record the audio uh, output from a device for whatever reason, when you're just quick and dirty, you don't know how to download the file and you just want to record the audio, it's the same exact uh, setup except for you just change the source number to one of these outputs. So if I want to record the uh, audio output of my headphones here, I can just uh, do this. I can say instead of input one, which was the microphone on here, I can say input zero. And I can say map it to one and I can give it, you know, I can name the MP3 or WAV file, whatever I want. We can say um, headphones.wav if I want it. And of course you can give it more parameters on exactly how you want to format the output of the wave or mp3 or, or flac file or whatever you want. But I'll go ahead and hit enter there and now it's actually recording the audio going out so if I was to play audio on this with, with whatever as long as it's going to that device because I can switch between my different speakers if it's going to the headset it'll record it there so I can press play on like five different applications and the audio is playing out that headset it would now be recorded to that. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to uh, my notes on here and go ahead and check that out. So if you're using Pulse Audio and you need to write a script that's going to record from multiple microphones, maybe you're just going to do a quick interview with somebody and you uh, want to record your microphone and that, or or you're, uh, I don't know, talking to someone on Google Hangouts or some other chat program where you can uh, do voice talking and you want to be able to record it real quick with a script, you can write a script and click and you can record uh, the their audio. So if I was hangouting or Skyping or whatever program you use um, with somebody, 
and I want to record the audio separate, I can record my voice from the microphone and their audio out to here to separate files. And that way later on, if, when I'm mixing it together, I can adjust the volumes and our voices are on separate tracks, which is nice. Uh, which of course you can do with a lot of different programs, especially if you're running uh, Jack D on your system, if you do a lot of music uh, creation, you probably have Jack D on there, which is great. And you have, you can use Audacity or um, Ardor or some multi-track recorder. But if you just wanted to have a quick little script, you can click and it starts recording from set devices. You can use this in a script. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Also a link in the description to these notes on what we just did. Um, also, please visit my website, my Patreon site, patreon.com forward slash mylex1000. I appreciate your support. You can also support me on my website uh, through pay, uh, PayPal or Patreon. And you can search through all my videos from both my channels on my, my website, filmsbychris.com. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.